there are so many options for you as an investor to have an exit strategy. I can tell you when I'm investing in property, I always like to have three strategies. My first love is short-term rentals. So when I'm buying a house, that I want to do a short-term rental on, I buy it with that in mind, but I also make sure that number one, it's going to last as well as a long-term rental just in case uh, my city changes the availability to do short-term or maybe Airbnb goes belly up or um, short-term rentals just don't do well in that area. I want to make sure that I can also long-term rent it as a buy and hold. My third strategy is, of course, to fix it up and sell the house, to flip it right away, especially with the way the market has been increasing here lately. I'm going to make sure that it's a deal that I can fix and flip as well. So those are three exit strategies for me. In addition to that, you might look at an exit strategy as if it were something that you could sell or finance to someone on a long-term basis, maybe a 10-year note so that that buyer can see the light at the end of the tunnel and know that they're going to be a homeowner really quick. It might be that you set up that seller finance note and then sell the note to somebody else so you'd be out of the deal completely, be able not only to get all your money back, but to take the extra money that you make and invest on something else. The options go on and on. As always, here are the next three steps to continue your journey. If you're interested in borrowing money for your real estate projects, go to carolinahardmoney.com and click on the Apply Now tab. If you're interested in passive returns, go to carolinahardmoney.com and click on the Accredited Investor tab. And if you're interested in further education, go to that same website, carolinahardmoney.com and click on the link to our um, video channel. Okay? Have a great day.